Hello there, folks, and good morning, or at least it's morning where I'm from, anyway. And welcome back to the stream, welcome back to Retro Sunday. We missed a week, but to make up for that, I am going to carry on... I was going to say bright and early, but, I mean, it's very close to noon. But early-ish, with more Hybrid Heaven. And I might even finish it. I think I'm getting pretty close to the game. I don't know, I'll see how far along I am uh, after I get, like... I don't know, maybe an hour and a half into the stream, and from there I'll decide whether I'm actually going to burn through and finish the rest of it, or maybe just save it for next week. But without further ado, let's jump into it, and we'll see what we can headbutt today. As soon as I find the thing. There it is. Okay, boom. There we go. As I was a bit too busy to stream anything last Sunday, so alas, hybrid heaven fell by the wayside. Today I'm hoping I'll be able to do this and perhaps one other thing. Later in the day, though, not immediately afterwards. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I accidentally started over right from the beginning. I'm going to have to, uh, uh, da -da -da, redo that. Hold on just a second. I apparently don't know how the game works. Aha, there we go. All right, let's switch back over. Boom. Yeah, there we go. You know, Area 7-3, not very beginning of the game, yes. Of course, there's going to be a bit of a hiccup starting off. Why not? Now, I think one of the last things I did was I beat the crap out of Bross, so he's not a problem anymore. I do believe the place is falling apart now, though, so there's that. I believe... Ah! I believe lasers. Definitely lasers. But yeah, I believe I climbed up that ladder. That's where I came from. <clears throat> okay, and uh, yeah, I need to uh, do the keycard thing, don't I? The keycard shuffle, as it were. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I'm getting pretty close to the end of this. I think there's only nine areas, and I'm at the end of Area 7. And I think each... yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the end of Area 7, because I'm pretty sure each area is divided up into three sections. And this is 7-3, so, you know. By that logic, we're pretty close. Uh, look at how high-tech this card reader is. Renewal completed. Please take the code key. What's in these other rooms, then? This room seems to have a whole pile of nothing, unless there's something on the ceiling for me to beat up. Yes! Yes, there is. Elephant Man! Oh, no you don't. Or maybe, yes you do. You're a poisonous fella, ain't you? Nope. I think a headbutt won't fix.
Gotta work over that head. Uh, running a headlock. Again, gotta work over that head. Too bad, thunk! Watch ah! Kick to the midsection. Oh, you don't like back hugs? It is a bit creepy, I will admit. Aw. Just wanna punch you in the face. Only a little. Head crush! No! There we go. Na -na -na. Okay, even if these last few rooms only have enemies in them, it's gonna be, you know, a good idea to take them on to increase my power, if nothing else. Oh, hi! We are just, like, hanging on next to the door, weren't you? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you, you pump yourself up. Pump it up. Pump it up, girly monstrosity. That's right, you take your baby steps. You, you just let me build up my strength. Let's see what that would have done if he hit me full force. Also, this is one of the enemies that kind of cheat and lunge forward with an attack, don't they? Here we go! Oh, even by guarding his attacks, he's doing quite a bit of damage. Boom. 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 Boom! Luckily, there's a save tube outside. Charge up and do my silly three-hit combo. Well. Now I'll do my silly three-hit combo. Back blow! Back blow! Kick! Yeah, it's a good thing I've guarded every single attack he's done, because I'd hate to see what would happen if he actually hit me full force. Anyway, I think I'll hop in the old save tube before I check out the last room. after getting hit in the face with a laser. No sense in wasting any more healing items if I don't have to. I will require the delicious healing box for another time. Behind this door we have... Oh, one of you guys. The Rocky Birdman. Because he has a beak, and it looks like he's made of pebbles. Oh yeah, and he's the one that keeps doing that. Making it so much easier to build up power.
Keep away. Keep away. Actually, I need to hold still for a bit. Gotta go in for the kill. The kill. So yeah, it might have been a bit uh, overcautious to save then if I was only going to fight one of these things. But, you know, I might have found something that wrecked myself, so... And he did get one pretty good kick in. That would take him off roughly half the health that I had left before, so, you know... Strike to the back of the head won't fix, apparently. Okay, yeah, I don't have any of those items that permanently enhance my stats. Alright. Never mind. Okay, we're done with this room then. That's today, robot! I honestly cannot remember which way it is I need to be going. Down the ladder, obviously, but where from there? Through that door, I would assume. Can't recall if there was another room further back that I probably should check out too, but eh. I mean, the place is only a little bit on fire. Only a little. Also, wouldn't you think they would have, like, fire extinguishers or something around this place? I haven't been exactly in this room before, but I have been in a room very similar to it. Hell, it might even be the exact same room. Yeah, because I should have been able to shimmy along that thing there, but it's broken. Now the question is, is there an item box underneath me here like there was in the other place? Doesn't really look like it. Nah, okay. In other words, going down there and dropping to my death seems like a terrible idea, so let's not do that, shall we? Let's just, just go into this room. Yes, I assumed it was safe to drop down that way. Yeah, next time I get into a boss fight, I should use a slew of these enhancing items, because I hardly ever use them. Natural Johnny Enhancement. Okay. That's cool.
Now, is this the way I'm supposed to go, or is this just the way that leads to riches? Okay, I think it's just the way that leads to riches, because that over there is uh, the chest I was looking at, I believe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, claw him up into that wall. Careful. Careful. Don't want to run like a loon and... Ah, go over that way. Okay, yeah, the box that had that chest is still there. Okay, I just dropped like a flame shot or something. Nothing I really need. Stamina charger is nice, though. I'll take that. Whee! Woo! Oh god, robots! Robots! No! Let's ignore the robots. Wait, what? Oh, uh, probably have to go behind that door, which means I need to destroy the security thing. Which means I have to destroy the robots. Let's just stand there and take it like a Johnny. I do not have the speed and dexterity required to destroy it and run. So it's just we'll take a few hits while I'm at it. But yeah, this is exactly the way I've been around before. It's just things are slightly different and somewhat more destroyed because here's the tube for the president. Mr. President. And there's the card reader. Reading changing thing. Hold on, now I need to, uh... I need to check a thing. Okay, we're good. And now we run! And get a face full laser. Do you hear me? Mr. Hunter, can you hear me? The damage to the clone storage area from the facility disintegration has now reached a critical level. Tell me. The collapsing of the facility is coming up from the lower levels. It's like the huge boosters below are... Oh cool, we gonna do the robot? Oh no, we're just gonna fight. It'd be cooler if we did the robot. So we'll just have a meeting of the minds. Soccer ball kick, straight to the nuts!
<laughs> that sent him sailing. I think Hunter might actually be the next boss I have to fight. Can't recall if I have to fight Jerry or not. That'd be pretty ridiculous. Jerry's a fairly funny looking dude. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like there's much of anything of worth here. Mr. Hunter, I'm coming to get ya! Oh look, ominous elevator. Ominous elevator going up. Everything is so blue. That's cool. What's with all the water? Why is everything so wet? Maybe it's like the giant cooling system for the ship or something, I don't know. I was tempted to use a healing item. It's a good thing I did not. Ah, area 8-1. Getting pretty close. Question, what are these things? And what do they do? Um, maybe I go in this door? No, that door does nothing. That door is a lie. Oh, now, now he checks out to see what these things are. Welcome to the birth area, Johnny. Oh, no, I thought it was Hunter. It's her. <laughs> With her deep, melodramatic voice. Recognize me? I wonder if you hate me for what I did. Y yeah, also that weird thing you're wearing on your head. But you really are tough. You've managed to beat even Diaz, didn't you? Technically, me and Diaz have never gotten into a fight. Not really. I didn't expect you to be able to reach here. You looked into the cat. You looked in the capsules, didn't you? Yes. This is where our life starts. We were all born here. After we change this world, this will be where the new history begins. That that's cool. <laughs> Going all space odyssey on us. Oh? What's happening? What? The water of life is clouding. Oh, that's what the water is. If this water gets tainted, the new lives will all die. What's happening here? I am. No! What shall I do? The control room. I've got to get there. But first I need to spaz out a little bit. Okay, she came through that door, and I cannot follow her. Oh yeah, the water's all weird looking now. Somebody pooped in the pool again. Somebody pooped in the water of life. Oh, hi! 
no, that's not Pig Man. That's weird, Blood Man. I think he can spit stuff at me. I can't recall. Yes, he can. I'll just have to deal with it. If I'm far enough away, he can't even do that to me. That said, he is pretty quick. I guess I'll just have to stay on top of him and beat the tar out of him. Stop doing that! I'm poisoned enough! See, the thing this the creature doesn't know is that Johnny is such an alcoholic, his toxicity level levels are already alarmingly high. He doesn't need any help on that front, thank you. <clears throat> You're just gonna wait for me to die due to poison? Yeah, there you go, punch. Come on with you, then. Of course, that's the funny thing, because Johnny is like your... Typical silent protagonist, so I'm just picturing that his mind has completely shattered due to everything that's happened already. He's just running on autopilots. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, this is Shuffler Eyeball, man. Oh, no, you don't. Well, I suppose you will that time. That's right, you just tie yourself out. Because that's how this works, yes? Here we go! Now for hugs! I always use the headbutt. Let's use something else. Although if I use the headbutt, I might have killed it by this point. Now it's dead. I think this is the way I was going. It kind of got turned around. Yes, yes, this is the way I was going.
stamina treasure. Mm. Poison restore, which I pretty much never use, though sometimes I really should. Oh, come on. I know there's got to be something else here. Oh, there is. Just not what I thought. Oh, wait, there is. Iguana Man. Gojira! Oh, yeah, you spit stuff at me, too, don't you? If I stay outside of his range, though. Which, that is just outside of his range. Though he's moving awful close now. Yeah, that's because he's going in for an actual strike. Oh dear. Please, no. Okay, this is bad. I gotta get him on the ground. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Be sure to leave enough, enough extra juice so I can heal myself. Let's give him another backbreaker. Break his back. Or, you know, kill him. Break his life. Oh boy, he dropped a sandwich. I mean, speed enhancer. It does look like a bit of a sandwich wedge, but you know. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to shimmy along. I was mistaken. Okay, so I gotta... I don't even know if I can destroy them from here. Okay, maybe jump up and shimmy along as quickly as possible. Yeah, like that. I've discovered your weakness, robots! Incredibly dangerous. Keep firing your weird little poofy gun. Okay. Now I should probably heal myself again just in case. I suppose I had to come up here first. Uh, 
It looked as if Johnny was very gently thrusting the terminal there for a minute. Oh yeah, I would have had to because that, that room down there is, yeah. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to even get through because it was flooded. And I healed myself for no reason, because there's a save pod in here. Wait, is there a save pod in here? I could have sworn I saw one. Yeah, there's one down here. Okay, so I didn't need to do that. But it, doing that allows me to access the save pod and these items, I think. Yes, yes, quite, yes. Rather. Oh, well, it makes up for the life charger I foolishly used. Well, though technically I foolishly used two, maybe, I don't know. In any case, save time. Oh yeah, no, I think I'm gonna finish this game today. I'm already at Area 8-2, and I think, like I said, there's only nine, so... This will be the final Hybrid Heaven stream. I believe. Right now, they, they, they like, backloaded the game, and Area 9 is absurdly long. Because again, my memories of the late stages of this game are very hazy. I only really remember up to the point where it's revealed you're not actually Diaz. <gasps> Mr. Pantaloon. The closest thing this game has to a mascot. Awesome. I beg to differ, sir. You should do this instead. Bam. Now see, that was, that was more impressive. Oh, those things gave me so much trouble at the beginning of the game, but for whatever reason, these guys don't scale with you. I think it must be because... Every time you give them a good strike and knock them over, they drop healing items. And even though they're only, like, the weak ones, you could basically farm them for healing items. If they were really weak. I mean, if they were really strong, I should say. You have weird-looking eyes. Just saying. <laughs> Long reach, though. Pretty dangerous. No hug for you. No hugs for you, my friend. It's amazing how many times fights just turn into intense games of keep away. That didn't really work. I thought it was going to knock him off his feet. Huh. 
That did it though. Same but reverse. Oh, and he was the thing keeping the uh, force field up. Okay. Another life charger. Very nice, very nice. Ruby. Seriously though, Headbutt is like one of the most useful attacks in the whole game. Yeah, because Headbutt does a pile of damage, and then you just incapacitate them for a little while, usually. But then this happens, and the dude keeps working over my legs. Oh, no, you don't. Eh. I was wondering when he was going to do that. Usually that's how they open the fight. bit closer. There you go. That's a good lad. Whoosh. Frogman vanish. And then we have to fight Cthulhu Light. Less calories than your regular Cthulhu. Oh dear. Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance. How are my stats looking now, anyway? Pretty good. I remember ages ago, like, my body was the one that was the most powerful on account of the fact that I kept doing body slams and stuff. <laughs> Things are evening out a little bit more now, though. I could try headbutting this guy and impale myself.
Although he's tall enough, so headbutting him would just be like headbutting his chest. Also, maybe I should have healed myself. I didn't think about that. Oh yeah, that needs to be done. That needs to be done, like, right now. One of these, I'd do it. Heal thyself. Actually, I got a bunch of those... Battle Chargers... Life... Stamina... Super Restore... I got a bunch of Defense Enhancers, why don't I just use one limb? Of course, now I may never get hit again. I very well might not. Okay, no, I did that time. Oh crap, he damaged my arm too. I can't uh, do pretty much any of my combos. Oh no, this goes poorly. Oh wait, nope. My arm has returned! a high front kick. Wait, what? Oh, I missed him. This asshole and his phasing in and out of reality. Good lord, and I'm actually fairly injured again. No matter, he's dead. Dude hit me a lot. Plenty of those now, that's nice. Uh, nah, I won't bother using one. For all I know, I might come across another save point yet. Ah yes, Elem Evader. For all my Elem Evasion needs. Okay, so now we walk around it. it. Seems odd that I'd be standing that way, but okay. This place is laid out rather bizarrely. And this right here just seems cruel. Is there anything worth taking down there, or am I just... is that just punishment for falling off the ledge? Nope, that'd just be punishment for falling off the ledge, there's no items or anything. Some over here, that's about it. Gotta love a soundtrack with some good old hypnotic vocalizations in the background.
a high thing. Yeah, perhaps I should heal myself in anticipation of fighting this thing. See if I can time this, though, so I can sneak up on it. That'd be nice. I could really limit out. Ah! No! Controls! I would have been able to do it if the camera hadn't changed on me like that. Oh no! That was a punch to the head. Spotlight's on us, buddy boy! He was gonna kick me in the butt! What a jerk. Now we dance. So he changes stance when I change stance? Interesting. Prepare thyself, jerk! Oh no, he does combos. That's the first time I've come across- well, no, I think one of the bosses may have done a combo. But the fact that this thing does combos is not good. Because he locks me in one, and does enough damage, then I'm screwed even if I'm at half health. Of course, it doesn't matter now, because he's dead. You lose a hole. Yes, this way. This is the way, the way that I go. I look when those jerks. Am I going to be lucky enough I can... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Not the way I intended to do it, but that works. It's not the way I intended to gain advantage over this thing, but, uh, cool. I don't know why I keep guarding. I can't really guard that. Step probably be the easy, be not the easiest, but the best thing to use for that. Let's do it now! Whoops. You can't touch me. Na 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 na. But I'll touch you!
I can't quite reach it. That's how specific that was, apparently. No freebies this time? That's a shame. That's a Oh, wait, no, there's one. Ah! Also bombs. Oh, things got a little crunchy there for a minute. Audio-wise. Cthuloid. Oh, did he... No, 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 he didn't get advantage over me. Alright, we're good. I was going to say I don't mind these things so much, but... Well, not really, because they're not much for grappling. As long as I get in close enough, I can wreck them pretty badly. Like so. Victory jump! Surely I must be getting pretty close to a uh, save point now. <laughs> climb up, climb down. Good lord, how much longer is this section? Oh, there's a save point. And a dude who beat the crap out of me pretty badly, so I think I'm actually going to need to heal myself before I do that fight. I'll use this in an M, and it should be good enough to put me up to full. There we go. Now, if I'm real lucky. Maybe I can catch him unawares. No. No! <laughs> Man, the controls are so screwy. He's not that bad, though. Not so bad as the other one of his ilk. Uh, let's use one of the preset combos this time. Boom, 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 bam. Well, bam. I might not actually hit him. No, I didn't. He was already on the move. I don't think it's going to take too much to put him down, though. Too much more, I should say. Nope! That's to you, you horny devil.
Yeah, see, now I'm in Area 8-3, so I'm pretty close to the end of it now. Oh, dude, you were raring for a fight. You're also pretty new. I haven't seen you before. I see he's taking the float like a butterfly tactic. Wait, what? <laughs> that was strange. I say typically they grapple first and then the warning shows up. Holy shit! This guy's so fast! What's happening? I don't even know if this is gonna hit him, but I gotta try. You fell from my trap, sort of. It is kind of him to just keep ducking and weaving and allowing me to build up a charge here, though. Oh. That's not so nice, though. I don't like that. You need to stop that. Stop you the only way I know how. Headbutt! <laughs> the best tactic. Yeah, that thing almost strikes me as being a mini-boss. It was a bit more intense than a lot of the other monsters I've dealt with. What is that alarming, Sam? I can't believe it! The subterranean shelter, the clone lives, they're all disintegrating! And the Master and Hunter are letting it happen? I don't deny that we're clones of humans created by the Master. Even the hybrids are nothing more than genetically superior clones. A new life form created as part of the Master's plans. I loved the Master and my people, and I watched over this place. I thought of it as a wellspring of life because of that. But if he's already decided to sacrifice both us and this place, it means that to the Master we're merely his handy labor force. And this place is nothing more than a factory to mass-produce copies. What do you think you're saying? Stop this, Anna. Don't be such a pessimist. It doesn't matter how we were born. We're human beings, too. The human spirit can be strangely fragile. It's dangerous to keep thinking like that. Suppose I die. The Master will make a replacement. Another analog will play the part I have till now. Don't be so sure. We're hybrids. We mean something. Something more than just artificially created people. You're right about that. I was taught that I was superior because I was a hybrid, and I bought into that. But that doesn't mean a thing to this single living thing called me, does it? Don't you understand what I'm talking about? It isn't about the meaning of existence, it's about existence itself. Anna, I can understand how the shock can unsettle you, but what is this all of a sudden? I don't understand these things you're thinking right now. 
There's Jerry with his weird eyebrow twitch again. In any case, if you're a hybrid, stop throwing yourself off balance like a helpless human. The world over, Gran, will be ours soon. Oh my god. God? <laughs> this is a hybrid created with alien and human DNA who operates directly underneath an alien and uses oh my god as a epithet. <laughs> Seems a bit strange. Jerry, I should have thought of this thought of it sooner. I somehow couldn't really hate that Johnny Slater we were supposed to get rid of. I do now. Somewhere deep down, I envied him because he was an original, not an analog. You're wrong! Anna! When we control the Overground, which sexually arouses me, as stated much earlier, all that will change. The distinction between original and analog, the old values, all that will be gone. There will be a complete reversal. And is that really a good thing? Is it as easy as that? I don't know anymore. You! Johnny Slater! Oh, don't mind me, I was just eavesdropping. Jerry, let's not fight him anymore. The mechanism that created us is broken. We've been forsaken. What do you have to fight for? I'll fight to go overground! Please don't, Anna! When you say things like that, the reality is... It's true I can't deny your ideas. But if I don't, I may end without reaching the overground. Damn it! what do you want from me? Anna, I can't stand around here with you anymore. I've got to get overground. You take care of things here. Screw this, I'm out of here. What on earth are we? A thing can't be distinguished between the real and the counterfeit. A thing that can't be distinguished between the real and the counterfeit, there we go, may have some worth to the creator, but it's almost worthless as an existence, as a life form. Engineered into existence, counterfeit humans superior to the real thing. That's what a hybrid is. The counterfeits are taught lies and dream of a counterfeit heaven. A hybrid heaven, as it were. You are a fool. Anna, it's unfortunate, but it looks as though you're a failure. Been a while, Johnny Slater. But of course, the last time I saw you, you were a fake Diaz. A smart guy like you must have gotten it already, but we've already initiated the invasion of the Overground. Right now, the subterranean shelter is heading towards the surface. We will knock out Manhattan and move in on the Overground. Time to show what the new rulers are capable of. Even if you humans try to fight back using the military, it'll be of no use. We have our analog president up there, which means we've got our finger on the nuclear button. Besides, your last hope, the original president, is in our hands. What do you think, Johnny Slater? You haven't given- you haven't got a chance. Give yourself up. You don't have too much time left, either. Hey, Anna! What are you doing? You let it all out just now. The shelter isn't collapsing just because you took the navigator. It's because the vertical boosters on the shelter has been activated. And that's why the shelter's disintegration has accelerated so rapidly. So the Master did sacrifice us. The plan was that we would use the power on the Gargatuan starship to blow out the crust. Then use the boosters to push the shelter up to the surface. But with the navigator gone, you have lost the ship's power, and decided to go on up on just the boosters as a result? It's a reckless plan. In reality, the shelter isn't rising, it's tearing itself to bits. The master lit the boosters, knowing that the shelter would collapse, just because he didn't want to miss this chance. Isn't that right? The very important Mr. Hunter. <laughs> that's an interesting job title. I wonder if that's on his business card. Front row seat in the safe starship. This is all a delusion of yours, Anna. 
You are made with heightened sensibilities to be a symbolic mother to all clones. But it seems that you've used those abilities in the wrong way. It's okay, Anna. The only course left for you is death. Johnny, I don't understand anymore. Whether you originals should survive, or the master and we a the analog should. But at least I won't obey the master anymore, so... Johnny, you've got to get out of here. With the way things are going, this area will collapse too. Excuse me while I bolt out of the room. Okay, then. Nope, she's gone. And now to not dive over the edge. Life charger X. On terms of enemies, the only ones I can think of that are left are Jerry, Hunter, the Master himself, who we haven't seen, might I add, and Diaz. I don't even know if we fight Jerry. Yeri. So this is probably area nine. Yep, nine one. All right, near area nine. So I'd say, yeah, I'm probably gonna finish this now today. Just while the boot around through what's left of it. Secret agent man, gonna get punched in the face or something. Or maybe he gonna get headbutted. No. Yeah. Too soon. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Let's use a good old neck throw. I haven't used one of those in ages. Boom. One of the very first grapple maneuvers I knew. I've been the only one I knew, honestly. Well, only one way to go from here. Hunter! Hunter! Come in, Hunter! Damn it, Hunter. Come on, Hunter! How many more times do I have to say your name? Answer me! What? Why are you excited? Hunter, why are you keeping me out of the starship? I'm going overground. The shelter's mostly disintegrated. There's no reason to be here any longer. Don't get rattled, Jerry. Everything's going as planned on the surface. You're going to ambush Johnny Slater and get the navigator back from him. You know it as well as I do. 
You know that as long as we have the starship's power supplies, we can rebuild the shelter and the clones over and over. That's why it's a major problem that they took away the navigator. Controlling all of the starship. Our plan is so close to being successful. Get the navigator back. There's no point in us going overground unless we do it with massive force at our hands. Or... Do you want to worm your way into human society and live overground pretending to be a human? I, I I wouldn't mind that. Jeez, you too, huh? Jeez. That that does not seem like the type of word that would come out of a character like that, but okay. Another failure doomed to destruction. Every damn one of you. Looks like all but myself are failures and just regular clones. Mere human copies. Hunter, wait a second! Don't you dare insult me. I'm a hybrid. A genuine hybrid! Jerry, then you understand. We've got to get the navigator back to get overground. Alright, that's fine. But, once I've captured Johnny Slater and retrieved the navigator, I won't take any more orders from you. When we're overground, the master's second in command. Will be me! Suit yourself. The final decision will be the Master's. Look at Johnny being sneaky. You know, I could have just gone after Jerry right there, right? I know that he's going to try to ambush me. Well, I guess I'm not going back that way. Kaboom, 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 kaboom. Hey, let's go down that way. It'll be fun, I'm sure. It's not like the whole place is exploding or anything. Oh, another one of you guys. Rawr. Bit too close to a wall there. We're also, you're also moving much faster than I would like you to. No crab. This is not going well. <laughs> okay, let's try this then. Oh, yeah, this one's a bit more physical than a lot of its compatriots. All the other ones like this I thought kept trying to use ice breath on me. Not, you know, punch in the face. Good lord. Well, there's all the brain damage. If I'm lucky, I might be able to get back on my feet and not die. Get up, Johnny. Get up, Johnny. Healing is key. Man, I just cannot get the advantage in a, uh, grapple situation. I don't even know if I know any reversals. Escape- I should have used take fall. Holy shit, really? Really? Let's try take and fall this time, maybe I won't get hurt as much. 
Nope. Would you please stop? Would you please stop? <laughs> oh no, man. Oh no, this is going badly. Barely able to keep myself alive, let alone actually get a hit in. Okay, no more screwing around. There. Oh look, I finally learned the back egg crush. Maybe that's because I got hit with it so many times. I probably suffered enough brain damage. And that's the way I came in. I have to go through the tiny door. Enter the broom closet. Hello, where am I? Oh, okay. Uh-huh, cool. Raise your offensiveness. That's nice. That hardly seems fair. Stepping forward like that. And he did it again. Seriously, though. It's like they get that one little bit of extra reach. That's how I pretty much walked into it, though. They don't let me do it. even let him step away a little bit. Are you not dead yet? There. Stay then. I never did find out an effective way to dodge these things. Stand there and take it. Like a Johnny. Oh, 
Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. Also, I think that's a save point next to you, isn't it? No, no, that's just a door. Okay, I, I, I should... No, not hit him. I should heal myself, that's what I need to do, yes. Because if I'm not careful, this guy will stick me in a loop like some of the past enemies I fought and just wreck me. then again, he may also just let me do this. Okay, this mightn't be as difficult as I thought. Oh dear, oh. Nice, uh, nice counter, my friend. Of speed enhancers. A whole heaping buttload of them. What's in here? I'm confused. What purpose does this room serve? Oh, uh, yeah. It had an item. I just needed to lure it down this way. Well, that was a failure. Never mind, Dan. Hello, friend. Yeah, this, this is the one that just keeps doing that, though, doesn't it? It's interesting how each individual enemy have their own specific quirks. Sometimes said quirks just make it really easy to beat them. kind of let him attack me that time. Right high front kick. That was a miss. I shouldn't have commented on how easy it was to beat this guy. Huh! <laughs> 
I've beaten so many enemies with an upper left back blow. It's like Johnny's finishing technique. Wow, that was kind of pathetic, actually. Oh no. Oh no, this is the, this is the combo machine. This is going to require a bit of aid. Well, it can combo me, I suppose, if it gets a hold of me. I don't even know what you call this thing. It's a very misshapen mass of stuff. See, because some of these weird bioengineered monsters look like things. Like, you can tell by looking at them what they're kind of supposed to be and do. But this one, what is this thing? What does it do? Just a misshapen mass of what the fuck. Ha! Joke's on you. Oh, uh, that didn't keep him down. I thought it would have. You have learned to resist the headbutt. I bow to your mastery. I keep trying for reversals, they pretty much never work. There we go. Send that dude sailing. Yes, yes, this is the way, I believe. Yep. Constantly move. I like the fact that despite telling you repeatedly that the underground shelter is collapsing every time you feel that rumble, it's like, no, look at this area you were just at. It's gone now. You can't go back. Let us take the time to show you how badly everything is falling apart and that you can't go back. Oh, one of you guys. I remember when these guys used to give me quite a bit of trouble. This is another enemy that hasn't really scaled up with my level. I was gonna wait to do this to you, but I mean, if you're so eager for it...
this way. Aha! Save point. Perfect. I've got to be pretty close to the end now. This is either area 9-2 or 9-3. 9-2. Okay. Probably gonna have to deal with Jerry in a moment. Jerry. Well, I presume I can't go that way yet. Oh, another one of you misshapen bastards. trying to do a reversal. It never works. To be honest, I don't even know if I have a skill learned where I can do a reversal for that. You're not so tough. Not tough enough to face the mighty legs of Johnny. Please enter the code key! I know I say it every time. I I'm pretty sure I've said it at least once every time I've streamed this, but I still don't understand why they didn't take steps to stop me from doing this. I was like, yeah, they keep changing it, but they don't really do much to stop me from renewing the code key that I have. Think of how easily they could have stopped me otherwise. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, looks like I'm stuck. I better save it again, just in case. I had to very slowly enter the code key. Oh, they're gonna make me do it like this. This kind of seems like a way to pad out the game, doesn't it? It's like, no, you have to go into a room, fight a monster, do the code key thing, get the other code key. We can't make it easy and make it a straight shot. much as I love this game, and I do, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of instances where it basically seems to pad out the playtime for not really much reason. This is one of them. Go through a bunch of similar corridors, and fight these monsters, so you can get this uh, code key, and then do it again. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I have to do this one more time now after I do this one.
You're weak. Laid out exactly the same too. Two items, Koki thing. Yeah, next boss fight I get into, I'm just going to wreck them by using a bunch of items, I think. To the best of my ability, that is. is staring hate at me, but politely waiting for me to open the door. Yeah, see? There it is again. There might even be one more after this. Okay, at least it's just Mr. Pantaloon. He's pretty easy to take out. some point. At least the room looks a little different. It's all freaky and neon. It's like he was in here waiting to start a rave, but nobody would join him. Now he's gone to the great rave in the sky. Hmm. Nothing else hiding in here? No? Okay. So is that it? Is that the last time I have to do that, or do we have one more? Hooray! Last time I had to do it. Okay, good. Game's being awfully generous with items, too. That's usually, uh... ill-portent. Although I know I'm coming close to a boss fight, I've gotta be. I'd say I'm gonna have to fight a cavalcade of bosses at the end of the game, because again, I know Jerry's still there. As is Hunter, as is the Master, as is Diaz. So you're finally here, Johnny Slater. Eyebrow twitch. You really are something. You've managed to back us up against the wall all by yourself. And you were gonna invade the world. You were never ready for that. To tell you the truth, I'm faced with all kinds of doubts right now. It began with the way Diaz went off his off of his appointed course because of his consuming hatred for you. Then I saw Bross forgetting the original goal because of his obsession with his research. Anna wanting a human heart. Because, you know, she's like the Tin Man. And now this conflict I feel growing in my own mind. Which makes you the Scarecrow! Huh. This is all just one messed up 
Wizard of Oz allegory. This shelter, a crystallization of advanced scientific power, the hybrid spawned dwarf humans. Funny word to use for such a short man. All this is falling into rubble because of you, a single man's actions, yours. I don't quite understand yet, but it seems that your existence itself is the answer to all questions. You mean Johnny Slater is the meaning of life? Ooh, twist. A truth that can't be expressed in logic or words. Maybe your value as an original has the power to turn a hybrid created to be better than the original into nothing more than a fake. <laughs> Johnny just has this blank stare. <laughs> no idea what's happening. I don't want to believe it, but I can't help feeling that this is what the power of the real thing is. Cool. But Johnny Slater, I have a will too. What I want isn't an answer to my doubts, or to be real. I want a life on the surface. So long as the condition for my entry to the overground is to never let you return there, I will defeat you and take back the navigator. The starship is right above us. Isn't it the ideal location for our battle? I'm ready, Johnny Slater. Okay, yeah, this is going to be problematic if I just keep letting him do that. Um, let's see. Let's heal myself first. I'm going to have to get in close. I don't know how tough he actually is. Pretty tough, actually. Well, sort of. Yeah, sure. Head crush. Oh no. Fine, if that's the way you want to play it. Um Flame shot. And I know why I'm using guard, because obviously he was going to shoot me with something. Notes! I keep going in for hugs. Now let's try going in for that head crush again. Oh, if that's the way he wants to play it. Make a lot of weird noises, Jerry. Yeah, that actually kind of hurt. Oh, you jerk. Of course, he must be getting pretty low then in that case. Now we dance! Okay, 
okay, if he doesn't want a head crush, we'll do a good old-fashioned headbutt. Good, a good old headbutt Boston Crab combo. I'll say this, you're taking one hell of a beating. Oh no. Okay, I gotta heal myself again. Oh, would you please stop? Dreams have failed. Give me a moment there, folks. Jerry is apparently a load bearing boss. I'm happy that you made it. Now, come to the starship. Okay, then. I'm assuming that was Hunter, maybe? Or maybe it was Diaz, who knows. Nah, it was Hunter. Johnny Slater, give yourself up without any fuss. Return the navigator. If you do, there may yet be some mercy for the original president and other friends that you see here. <laughs> and other friends! Johnny, don't worry about me. You sound vaguely Australian there for a minute. You have to save the US and the world! master, I assume. Look at those eyes! It is all right, Hunter. Threats will have no effect on him. Welcome, Johnny Slater. I am very impressed. It seems that I have underestimated humans. You have shown me many things that were not in my data. The humans of this planet are indeed complex. But do not fool yourself, Johnny Slater. It was not due to any skill of yours that you found your way here. You were led into exposing yourself here according to my plans, which is why everything blew up, I'm sure. I'm not in any particular hurry. Why should I be? We are already in a position of advantage. And I do not particularly care if the subterranean shelter is disintegrating. Nothing new can come about with destruction. My minimum requirements. Oh, without destruction is what he said, never mind. My minimum requirements call for the Gargatoon Starship, the navigator which serves as its controlling core, and a few Gargatoons to be our brain pool. Even if we were to lose everything, we could regenerate them over and over as long as we have those things. Therefore, I shall certainly have you return the navigator here and now. In addition, because, you know, I'm not done with this exposition dump, I will not just take the navigator, but you yourself as well, Johnny. When I have recreated the subterranean shelter, I will have under my under my command mass-produced clones of you. Now, Hunter, the time has come to, sh come to show how superior your powers are. Break Johnny Slater and retrieve the navigator. 
is worth the match. Prove right here and now that an ideally realized fake will surpass the original. Now that the hybrids with capabilities superior to those of humans have come into being, old generation humans are no longer rulers of this planet. It is destiny that the old must give way to the new, and you'll be the first to give Johnny Slater. Yes, well, two can play that game. This seems like as good a time as any to use those items. Seeing as how he seems to be letting me do so. This is turning into a fight, like, from Dragon Ball. We just stand back and power ourselves up before we actually go in for the kill. Now we just need to start screaming at each other for about ten minutes, and... That's right, Hunter. Oh shit, that hurt a lot. Thankfully, two can play at that game as well. I also have this trick! Wow, really? Really, Hunter? Jerry put up more of a fight than you did. That's because Jerry wanted it more. And now I believe I fight the master. Yes! Look <laughs> at that ugly little bastard. Unbelievable! Hunter is defeated? Impossible! Man, you should've ba you should have backed Jerry, man. He's the one who did more damage to me. <laughs> or at the very least held out longer. Does this that mean my data is useless? I cannot understand. Though you are deeply attached to life, you feel no fear of death within you. Why? Also, why do you look so much uglier than the other Gargatuans? Is that why you're evil? Because you're ugly? It's a poor message to send. Why are humans so hard to figure out? A weak earthling making me fight a full power. How could I have thought of this? Allowances for your frailty are unnecessary. The battle will end in a single second. Prepare yourself, Johnny. You do not possess powers such as mine. You can't float. Johnny Slater, submit to me along with the navigator. <laughs> and that's internal damage. How do you like the pain? You really never give up, puzzling creature. Perish now. I like how it kind of cut away before the president tackled him. Are you all right? Johnny, thank you for showing up. Advanced technology doesn't matter as much as who's using it and how. Your ideas look downright half-baked to us considering the mistakes we've been repeating throughout humanity's history. Your invasion of Earth and the human race were about 2,000 years too early. What? Don't really understand that, but okay. I 
I presume the president is dead now, maybe? Now we battle, although I should probably heal myself before anything else. I want to boost myself for this, definitely. What's he doing? Okay, he doesn't want to be grappled. Where are you going, little buddy? Just want to be friends. Speed enhancer seems like it'd probably help here. Nah, yeah, I can't get too close to him. Alas, I would have liked to headbutt this guy. He's got such a big head to butt. Jerk. Ah, crap. Got a little too close. I shall unleash my full fury against you, tiny man. Tiny alien man. Observe. Wow, that was it? <laughs> Dude, again, Jerry was tougher. Jerry should have been the man in charge. <laughs> and again, that's just because Jerry won a little more. Oh, hey! Johnny, I'm near my limit. Pull me up quick, will you? Surprised he survived that. We are saved. Thank you. So the traitor is finally dead. Huzzah! We've lost many of our own in this turmoil, but the crisis has been averted. Johnny, we owe this all to you. Your strength has saved this planet and us. Your life force knew no end, and that traitor who called himself the Master was feeling major pressure from it. That's why his head was so big. That's right, Johnny. As a result, he forced ahead a plan to blow Manhattan out from below, to surge up to the surface and begin an all-out attack on our world. I thought it was all over when I learned about it. But consequently, things turned out the wrong way and the traitor brought about the destruction of the subterranean world. He was defeated by something Data could not provide him, the true powers of humans. No, yours. It seems that one cannot secure a victory on borrowed knowledge and ideas. Now, Johnny, please restore power to our ship. The navigator is back into the ship's core. And then they just lock him in there. <laughs> Something we forgot to tell you. You are the navigator now. You're coming with us. Hi, alien Jesus! Thank you. 
You have truly been marvelous. So it was as good for you as it was for me. I thank you on behalf of the people of our planet. Activating the ship's power reactor. That's what their language sounds like. The starship is readying for takeoff. I don't know how to show you our gratitude. We thank you truly. Now all that remains to be dealt with are the clones acting their parts above ground. But analog humans are no longer a threat. Oh, wait. Maybe that's not him saying that. All that needs to be done is expose is to expose them as counterfeits. Actually, no, it is him. Johnny, let's return to the surface. The president starts doing voice impressions. <laughs> then we will remove ourselves from Earth immediately as well. The wreck of the subterranean shelter will be placed in compressed storage. And we will leave no traces or effects of its presence. Don't worry. Once we are in takeoff position, the ship's interior will be saturated with energy and become dangerous. I ask you to hurry to the exit. The elevator at the end of the ascending walkway of the cockpit will take you to the surface. We are truly grateful. The tale of your bravery will be long be told on our planet. We have faith that the human race will be forever prosperous. Got a lot more faith in us than I do. <laughs> Just saying. Bye, little fellas. Is it the master? Is he not dead? Although I know I still have to deal with Diaz. No, it's the master. Yes, it is as you humans say. All that I am are things borrowed and false. For I am a parasitic life form. I am Migoya, a feeder on others that roams the universe. But I have not yet abandoned hope of consuming all life on this planet. The time is now ripe. I will mature, divide, and begin a new process of invasion. I forgot all about this part. That's why the master was so easy to defeat, because it wasn't him. It was this thing. Gross. What a weird twist to throw at us in the last minute. It's like, no, actually, it's an ancient evil that wants to eat everything. Of course, what really sucks is it's been so long since I saved it that it's entirely possible that if I die, I have to do all those fights over again. Simple as most of them were. Of course, then again, it doesn't look like he really has any physical attacks. So as long as I can keep away from his weird breath attacks, I might be able to do this pretty easily. Wait, what? Correction! 
maybe that's not the case. Okay, I'll use one more... One more item. I'll drain his defense. Now I can just start wailing on him. Ah, oh, crap. I can't seem to avoid that one. What? Can I not hit him? I better heal myself before he takes me out. No, he's... what? <laughs> Okay, how about this? How do you like one of these? Okay, I'm just gonna keep using items on them. That might be the best thing to do for now. I better make sure my health is up, because if not, he might just randomly kill me. Wow. Oh, that's it. That killed him. Huh. Okay, cool. Maybe if I was able to get around to his backside, I would have been able to actually hit him, but... Seems like physicality wasn't doing much. He's not actually dead yet, is he? I've already fought creatures like you, though, haven't I? At least things that looked like you. Okay, well, let's use the same idea as before, except this time I guess I can actually get ahead and punch him. Oh, of course you can do stuff like that still. Let's go to town on this guy. I never did learn that attack. See how you like a headbutt? Don't like that at all, do you? Come on, now I was going to use that on you. That's not fair. <laughs> I 
So I just imagine Johnny learns that the thing was actually some kind of, like, genocidal parasite, and he's just thinking to himself, uh-huh, okay. Makes about as much sense as practically anything else. Also, maybe because also this game takes place in the last 90s, he's like, oh, you mean like that guy, like that, that, that thing in that game Chrono Trigger, he thinks. Man, I love that game. That didn't work. Oh, you're gonna hurt now. Yeah, no. No, like, a lot of the last few bosses aren't terribly impressive. I came across worse things. I think it's finally dead. Time to go. Johnny, are you all right? Eh, <laughs> he just shrugs. You've defeated the actual invader. It's finally all over. You really are something, Johnny. Remind me to give you a raise. That was really the master's true identity. It means that the Gargatuan traitor had actually been taken over by another being. A parasitic organism commanding an army of cloned humans to invade Earth. The human race was this close to falling into the hands of counterfeits and analogs. But of course, this is a bit of an irony, given today's world situation- What? <laughs> there are tons of things to be done once we return to the surface- I like how he's not going to continue that thought. It's like, you know, considering the world situation, like, that makes sense. How I, it was very ironic. This game suddenly gets very political, briefly, at the end, and then just stops. No, this isn't time for sentimental reflect time yet for sentimental reflections. Let's hurry, Johnny. We gotta escape to the surface before we're hit by the energy blast. Sorry, you need to update your card. Hey, this room looks familiar. <laughs> I like how the president is like, hey, over here. How do you know how to operate that thing? But wait! Duh. It's not over yet, brother! Hey, haven't you forgotten someone? I'm a persistent type, Johnny. Won't get away now. Seems very ill-fitting to do a really crappy Macho Man <laughs> impression for the game's final enemy, but to hell with it, who cares? Hmm. So close to getting home. Too bad. I'm pretty tough myself. Still alive, as you can see. Yeah. This time there'll be no room for you to run. The whole place will blow soon. I couldn't ask for a better spot to settle scores with you. Because Diaz is the cream of the crop. We'll make it a fight to the death. Wasn't it going to be that way otherwise? 
least he's being chivalrous about this. <laughs> At least he tried to be. A tough human and a tough hybrid. We'll see what the real score is when it's over. I don't give a damn about originals or analogs. Brother, I'm all I believe in. And I'm the one who will survive in the end. Although with all the like paint and stuff, he kind of looks a bit more like the ultimate warrior. Is he laughing at me? <laughs> I better heal myself. It's just well to go all out on this one. This is the absolute last fight in the game, so. Maybe just an offense enhancer, though. Maybe I'll take fall reversal never works. Then again, that doesn't either, really. It's like fighting myself. One real gravelly voice you got there, Diaz. You just call me a punk. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll still keep waiting to build up a full combo to take him out. You know, and just really wail on him. He has his way to this long to try to kill me, and I just keep running from him, teasing him. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. I just need to get my head on straight. Is this what you want? Can I headbutt you, I wonder? Although every time he grapples me, he manages to get one in, and he just keeps going for the head crush, doesn't he? Although it finally took effect. He's using my own tactics against me, kind of. Knock them out, keep them down. Stretch the hell out of them. <laughs> what a way to finish it. Headbutt. Always, always bet on headbutt. 
I only really hit him twice with that combo and then the headbutt and then he was down. Pinnacle hybrid technology, my ass. And that's it. All that's left now is the ending. Ah, uh, look at the president risk his life to save me. <laughs> I love how incredibly destructive just the ship taking off is. But wait, if it's going to take off, is it going to, like, destroy Manhattan? I came back because I knew you would be alive. You think I would leave behind the hero who single-handedly guarded the United States, its president, and the whole world? The whole world with his own life. We're getting out of here now. God, let it be in time. Let's go home. As long as this elevator can outrun the explosions. The convection alone should be roasting them alive right now. But games, of course, never really take that into consideration, now do they? <laughs> Pump those crazy legs! Because like a true 90s action movie, it has to end without running a fireball. And then we get hit by a train. Yep. <laughs> I was joking. I actually forgot that's what happened. Considering how frequently the president's been holding his side, I think he's got some broken ribs. Just in the nick of time. Above ground. We're above ground again. Man, imagine what that would have been like, too, had we actually been hit by a train. Like, they find the president's body down in the subway, and it's like, but isn't the president in the White House? Twenty-fourth. Oh my god! Good lord, Johnny! Today's Christmas Eve! And I haven't gotten any presents! <laughs> Johnny, go get yourself to the woman you love. How do you know about her? Although maybe we were best buds before all this happened, who, know, who knows? Don't worry about me. It's not as though you haven't got something to do on Christmas Eve, is it? I've got to go home to my wife and daughter too. Something I have to do before that, though. I know that your position doesn't allow you to leave the president on his own. But I can't possibly lean on you to the very end. Done it so far, although you did save me a couple of times. I'll take care of the fake president. Secret Service Agent John Slater? Not Johnny? You are on vacation, effective this moment, by presidential order. Sweet. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Johnny. Now let's go. as I lovingly gaze into your eyes. Ha, <laughs> hug. Now me and the president bro out. Look at that highly detailed cityscape. Where to? Washington, D.C. Oh, that's pretty far to go, ain't it? I'm in a hurry. This way is faster than getting on a plane. Leave it to me, man. But today's Christmas Eve. It ain't Halloween, you know. I guess I do need to make a stop at a clothing store along the way. I thought you were in a hurry. <laughs> that man's voice and the fact that his head is so gigantic. This is for breaking news. An astounding event has just taken place in New York City where President Weller was scheduled to address the nation. 
alternate was on the stage when he was attacked by a man, but it turned out that the assailant was, strangely enough, none other than President Weller himself? <laughs> Thumbs up. How cheesy is that? Classic action movie thing. Also, I like how Johnny is suddenly voiced at the end of it. After not saying a word. For some reason, I would think there'd still be some people milling around the Christmas tree. I like how it's a giant cross and not a star on top of the Christmas tree. <laughs> a lot of religious iconography in this game. I also like how she still went there even though she saw me get shot to death. Though then vanish. I also remember that she called it their pact that they'd meet here. And I assumed it was because they were going to summon some kind of blood demon. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Intense Christmas. And there you go, that's uh, Hybrid Heaven. A sometimes forgotten... I'll call it a forgotten gem from the N64 era. I didn't even think about it, but I did actually kind of start playing this one around a decent time, considering it takes place on Christmas Eve. I did start it before Christmas. So basically, it's a Christmas game, much as Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Have an ass-kicking Christmas. Well, there we go. That's the end of this particular game for Retro Sunday. Uh, now I have to decide what I'm going to do next Sunday. I got a few things in mind. Nothing quite as long as this one. I'm going to save the longer games for later. I don't know if there's any particular thing that happens after the credits on this one. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out now, won't we? But yeah, I might stream something else later on today. I'm not sure yet. If I do, it's probably going to be Red Dead. Pluck along a bit further on that. I'm really happy I decided to play through this again, though. I'd say it's been about 15 years since I last played this game, and for a long time I had almost forgotten completely about it until something reminded me of it. I can't even remember what. But yeah, while parts of it certainly haven't aged well, the platforming, for example, and the environments. Some of the environments look pretty cool, a lot of them are really bland. But the character design, seeing as how we happen to be there, um, was actually really cool. The creatures look pretty nice. Again, creature design. Prophetic. Um, and, man, the combat. The combat was really unique, and I haven't really seen much of anything that is similar to that sense, so I would love it if we can get either another game like this, or even a sequel, or like a remake of this. It seems highly unlikely considering, but, you know, one can dream, right? One can dream. Also, I like how you have all these names of... I don't know. 
It was, a, it, was a, it was a Konami division in Osaka that did this, so you have all these names that you would expect to see around Osaka, and then you get names like John Sloan. Horribly out of place. Of course, this still might have been around the era where... End. This still might have been around the era where a lot of times games did not use the actual names of their developers in the uh, credits, just pseudonyms and stuff. Total battles, 150. Total offense rate, 93%. Favorite finishing move, left middle kick. Clear time, 12 hours, 46 seconds. Ranking total... Pretty good. Pretty good. I got, uh, got the double S 130 times. Nice. Nice. Say play data? Sure. The point game clear. Level N50. Which might be the max. The point of uh, saving your clear data. Congratulations, thank you for playing. Try hard mode next. But like, I, I think maybe you can do like a new game plus thing, or if not, then in the versus mode you can carry on your moves and your level. I'm pretty sure. No, I don't really have time to do that right now, though. I was gonna go in and test it, but I don't know, maybe maybe I'll... Like, as sort of a mini thing next Retro Sunday, before I start whatever the next game is, I might dive into this and just do a... like a battle, a marathon thing. Anyway. If you happen to stop by to watch the finale of Hybrid Heaven, I thank you very much for doing so, and, you know, thank you, thank you for enjoying this blast from the past. Next week, next Saturday, Sunday, I'll start in with something new, possibly just something I'll do as a one-off, or I can knock out in a couple of, a uh, couple of Sundays. Um, later on today, I'm hoping to stream again sometime in the evening, perhaps, and I'll probably carry on with Red Dead. Until then, however, I will wish you farewell, and uh, I hope you have a great day.